What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Ancestors of Highest White Light. What is the scoop? The moon. The queen of pentacles. Ooh, we've got a very intuitive earth sign or a very intuitive um, like mother figure. Somebody who's very grounded in their intuition as well as what I'm hearing. What else? Spirit. Congratulations to whoever you are. That's fantastic. That is a great way to feel. Ooh, the Three of Cups. It's my party card. Party! Yay! I feel like I'm hearing actually like I'm seeing somebody like partying with their um with their spirit guides. It's like it's like their guides are like toasting because they're like so happy that like you're where you are or something like that. Okay, this is a beautiful message. Um, what else, spirit? Okay, so whoever you are, you are receiving a lot of downloads. I have the Ace of Wands here. Um, to me, that is um, that, and then the Page of Wands as well is like my download card. So um, you're receiving like a lot of uh, creative inspiration and a lot of aha moments. Okay, so make sure that you are taking time um, to rest. And um, you might want to also, what I'm hearing is write down some of these things. They might be like business um, ideas. They may be, um, I don't know, things with regards to, I'm hearing family too, to create um, like a more cohesive, I'm literally hearing this, cohesive relationships within your life, things like that. So just um, different things. Your, your spirit guides are trying to come through to you or are coming through to you to um, to help you really um, kind of like level up your life is what I'm hearing um, and I definitely feel like you you are in a position of receiving this so that's fantastic let's see what else is going on ancestors of the highest light light what else yeah so you're working on something new this is really fantastic and and there's going to be a lot of abundance coming in with regards to that so the message that I'm receiving is continue to focus on that because it's going to be incredibly fulfilling for you yeah, I've got the full card. This is you, okay? You're like, yes, this is amazing. New beginnings, woohoo! You know, like you're ready to fly. So do that, you know? Um, what else, spirit? Six of Pentacles, wow. This is a great reading. Okay, the Six of Pentacles to me is um, a card of aligning with your divine path. It is a card of service, um... So that's a beautiful thing. So you are aligning with, I mean, who you are in your essence, um, with your authentic self, okay? That's fantastic. Hmm. Oh, well, here we go. Here, now we have the drama. Okay, we've got the Four of Wands in the reverse position. To me, um, the Four of Wands in the upright position is the Twin Flame card oftentimes. Um, in the, the reverse position, to me, it is the Karmic. So we've also got the Page of Swords. Here, the Page of Swords is a Watcher, the Watcher card. Um, so let's see what's going on with this. Um, okay. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse position, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. So it's like the message that I'm receiving is, and remember you guys that these cards are not gender specific, so it can be, you know, male or female. The message that I'm receiving is um, somebody might be feeling a little insecure. Um, make sure that you are not insecure because right now you are manifesting at a rapid pace and you do not want that to manifest as um, like bad luck in your life okay um, another message that I am receiving is that there is somebody who is trying to make you feel insecure and they are going to run into some bad luck okay you are very divinely protected and we have the six of wands here either way wherever you are whatever you're doing you are going to have a victory okay what else spirit Yeah, now we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position at the bottom of the deck with the Justice card in the reverse position. Um, so I feel like there was definitely something unjust that happened to you that created an imbalance in the universe. And the universe is trying to work with you um, and your ancestors. Again, the Wheel of Fortune, again at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Wands. So I just I'm cu I keep cutting the deck to shuffle it, and then Spirit keeps telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. So... Like, you are so very divinely protected. I'm going to actually pull these cards now. Um, yeah, we've got a dark empath. Um, 
And again, we've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse position. To me, that indicates somebody that's trying to make you feel insecure. Anyways, they're going to run into some bad luck. They're going to run into some trouble. Um, and the message that I'm receiving is don't give in to whatever mind games they are trying to play, okay? Um, you can also... Amethyst is very helpful. Um... Uh, we're very susceptible when we sleep, so um, having amethyst while you sleep or even, you know, while you're, you know, doing whatever you're doing during the day can be very helpful. Um, I do have some tumbled amethyst in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to that in the description box um, if you want to, you know, sleep with that in your hand. Um, or I also have um, some amethyst necklaces. They're kind of small like this. This is my black obsidian necklace that I also have in my Etsy shop. But I have um, smaller ones like this as well. It kind of actually is a little bit longer. But um, anyways, uh, those are also really great for everyday wear, okay? And those protect your third eye. Um, I'm also hearing tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is very good for uh, movement forward and protecting the solar plexus chakra, our willpower, which can, um, when that's uh, kind of like off kilter, that can lead to some insecurity as well. Okay, so those are all in my Etsy shop. You guys can check those out. I would totally encourage you to do that. Um, that is another way to support my channel, and I appreciate all of your purchases and all of your support. Um, in that regard, in every regard. So, uh, let's keep pulling some cards. What else, Spirit? Okay, yeah, literally, all right, the Eight of Wands in the reverse position. They can't even come through. They cannot come through to you, so what they're trying to do now is they're trying to fuck with you on the astral praying, plane. So that's praying? Praying? Maybe somebody needs to pray up, too. Like, praying is always really good, too. Meditating, just keeping your nervous system very calm. Um, Epsom salt baths are very helpful as well, because that that will calm your nervous system. That will help you. Um, it, it will disconnect you from them, okay? That will essentially help you rise above their frequency so that they just can't access you anymore. And, and rise above the frequency of chaos which is what I'm hearing, so um, it's, you know, some sort of uh, chaos manifestation they are kind of hoping or praying for your downfall, but Spirit says that that's not going to happen because we've got the uh, Eight of Wands in the reverse position. They cannot come in. They can't fuck with you, all right, because we've also got the Wheel of Fortune and we've got the Six of Wands, but you are just so protected, all right? Spirit says, uh-uh, not going to happen. They can't fuck around anymore. You are so protected. Um... Black tourmaline is also really good. Also, I'm hearing that is that black tourmaline is fantastic. Um, it's incredibly grounding, incredibly grounding, and um, it has a sort of rubber band karma. So anyone who is any energy that is um, like negatively polarized energy that is like coming at you will, will be returned to sender. Okay, just immediately and um, mechanically, that's incredibly beneficial for everyone really because um it, karma just acts as a way um because you know karma is just like the sanskrit word for action so you know we can have negative karma we can have positive karma okay but um if we have negative if somebody has negative karma um, mechanically the purpose of that is to essentially help them learn the lesson for their soul to um you know, ascend to higher levels of consciousness, okay? So it's good for the collective, all right? Karma's not a bad thing. Um, it's it's all very good. It's, you know, the person's choice, whether or not they want to, you know, make it a bad thing or a good thing. What else, spirit? Hmm. I feel like, oh, good. Here we go. Yeah, judgment. Okay. I, I was just going to say, I feel like this is the end of the reading, but the judgment card came out. Again, judgment, like you, you're so divinely protected. Like your guides, your spirit, your, your spirit guides, your ancestors um, are like, this is not going to happen. So you just need to continue to be positive, continue to, um, you know, pray, meditate, take up, up some salts, just nourish yourself. Um, honor yourself and remember who you are. I'm also hearing, okay, um, continue to stay grounded and, um, 
you know, if you're into music, music is also really, really a great way to um, meditate and um, walking and muscle hearing and like running and dancing. Um, but just stay positive and you're going to rise above that frequency of um, whatever the fuck this karmic is trying to do. That's, that's not going to happen. It's not going to work, okay? Because you are protected. We've got it all out here. Uh, we've got justice, we've got judgment, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So, and we've got the Six of Wands. You are unstoppable. I love it. Okay, I love you guys so very much. I hope that you are doing so amazing. Um, if you would like to make a donation to this channel, it would be so amazing, so helpful. I will leave my PayPal um, information down below. Um, it's every little bit counts and um, it helps me to be able to continue to do these readings and um, or if you would like a personal reading that's another way to help support the channel and um, I love helping people you know and um, you know we all rise together so you can um, text me um, and just say you know hi my name is you know and say your name and then say I'd like a personal reading and my phone number is area code 616-485-3479 or you can also check out my Etsy shop I would love that um, all of the crystals most of the crystals rather um, I you know found dug up and cleaned myself they are my little babies and um, I did all of the lapidary work all of the metal work and everything like that so I'm very proud of my product and um, you know they're all made with love and blessings and I love to share that so um, yeah, I will leave a link to those things in the description box below. And thank you all for being here. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes. If you have not subscribed yet already, please subscribe um, and join the party. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, until next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.